Take her down, bud. Yep, that's a fish. That's a very nice fish. River Rats, it's safe to say I'm pretty exhausted, but I got a guide trip tomorrow, and when you got a guide trip tomorrow and you need bait, you go get bait, and no bait trip would be complete without a special guest appearance. The gas can night crawlers. There they are, just like they're supposed to be. Suppose I need a container to put them in. That'll work. No big dogs in here though. He'll do. You'll do. The upside of having a poorly built driveway where water runs down in it. Oh! Don't even think about it, bro. Add a little dirt. Put the gas can back. Okay. To collect more gas can worms. Things I need. So I got my gas can worms. Need a cast net in case they don't want to bite. Need a bait tank tap water in it because we can't transport water from different bodies of water so put tap water in it got to treat it okay I'm bringing the little tank because I'm not gonna have a ton of time so I'm not gonna have a huge haul of bait treated stuff removes chlorine keeps bait healthy it's good stuff just need the bait pole we are good to go. This is my preferred bait pole. Found it in a parking lot. It's good luck. All right, let's go. I honestly have no idea what to expect. I just hope I don't fall flat on my face. Considering there's little shads on the trail, I'm gonna assume there's some shad here. There's some poison ivy, so I probably should have expected that. Definitely gonna float a crawler around for a little bit though. Worked hard for those. It's a bunch of little kids coming down. Hopefully they catch me some bluegills or bullheads. Take those. It's a winner of a crawler if I ever saw one. All right, let's see what happens. I'm on the bottom whole bobber fishing thing might be short-lived here especially because I don't know where it went oh there it is oh got a nibble all it was was a nibble though this might be a throw the net up here walk down over there type gig Now we're gonna go with that strategy. I'm gonna throw the net up here and see what we can get. If I had to guess, we're gonna get some shad. Ugly throw. And we got shad. I don't know, we'll keep them. And we got more shad. Oh, something big. The kerp. Not what, well, I mean, I shouldn't say I wasn't expecting it, but. Not that I was expecting it, but I'm not surprised. Easy. Well, he is free. Not gonna be a total jerk and throw him off the side. I'll take him down and 
an excuse to throw my cast net down, down in that next pool. Okay. That's so. See ya. Hopefully I don't catch you the very next time I throw my net. Hopefully I'll get some suckers. Okay. Holy crap. We've got everything. Bluegills, shad, sticks, and what are you? Quill back. You'll have to go back. We'll sort in the bucket. Okay. Mr. Bluegill, you can't go in the bucket if I cast net you. See ya. Any more bluegills? Neither can you. Mr. Quillback, it hurts, but I'm going to have to let you go. See ya. Okay, I think that's our sign. Time to go find other bait. Well, it wasn't the bait we necessarily wanted. By we, I mean me, but it's the bait that we got. And it's not a bad compliment. Um, usually I like shad earlier in the year, but you know, you never know cut shad anything can eat that so i'm gonna put them directly on ice and i'm gonna run a guide trip and whatever's left over we're gonna put to work hopefully good things happen river rats i wrapped up the guide trip and not gonna lie it left a little bit to be desired that's the unfortunate reality of flathead fishing though is you can do everything right and still not get them i don't know they don't come easy but it makes them even more special anyway nate was nice enough to donate his channel cat that he caught today to uh, my dinner cause. So I'm going to fry that thing up and cast some lines out and try some new spots. and Hopefully be a better guide as a result of it. Okay. like that spot. These bullheads have been used and abused. Okay. If any of them's gonna get bit, that's the one. Calling it. I don't really care that much as long as the one gets bit. I'm kind of just waiting for things to cool down. I'm sweating bullets right now. Once things cool off a little bit, I'll, I'll cook some catfish. I suppose I could or uh, flame though. That'd be smart. Nothing here. I think I'm gonna slide over to that sandbar. I know I probably shouldn't fish that sandbar because it's a full moon, but it just looks too juicy not to give it till midnight, I suppose. But nothing here. That's some good lively baits though. We are here. Got that catfish filleted. Add the secret ingredient. Satisfying. My only regret is we didn't catch two. So I'm pretty hungry. And I definitely would have ate two. Catch a small flathead, he might have to uh, hop in the cooler for breakfast tomorrow. Well, I think it's time. I'll drain this out. Actually, no. We'll move them to a different baggie. Fish are moved to a separate baggie, which is important, because otherwise you're going to burn through a ton of bread in. Okay, not much bread in left in that one. It's probably all in the, the bottom of that container somewhere. But I got to back up. Where are you not starting? I 
That worked. Don't take long for things to heat up on this, this top. Good things are about to happen. I suppose I set up my fish pan. Okay, in business. Can feel that heat coming off of her. That's good. Let's see if she's ready. Oh, that sounds ready. That looks ready. It's gonna be delicious. Not too many things you can count on more than fried fish tasting good. I try to be pretty, uh, try to make it where you can count on me, but fried fish is more dependable than I am. It's definitely more dependable than flatheads are. So there's that. Man, that's look good. Okay, that one's done. Dun, dun. Round one, done. Probably gonna be at least three of them. What a way to spend an evening on the river. I suppose even if the fish aren't biting, this ain't so bad. And we are on to the final piece. Exciting times. Might already eaten one. Might be awesome. I'd say, ooh, ow. I'd say she's done. They're finished. I'm gonna bet they taste as good as they look. Definitely hot. Definitely worth it. Let me give this till midnight. Enjoy my catfish. Hopefully good things happen. If they don't, then move to a deeper spot. I don't like full moon with flatheads. But as much as it sucked during the day, I mean, I'm hopeful nighttime will be better. I don't know, we'll find out. At least I have wonderful catfish nuggets. Man, they're good. It is funny though. Sometimes you don't get much action on a full moon night, but when you get action, it's a big dog. I'm okay with that. Something happened. False alarm, maybe. Take her down, bud. Yep, that's a fish. It's a very nice fish. Stay button. It's been a minute. I've had some bad luck. Stay on. I'm a little trick gun shy because of said bad luck. This is a heavy fish. Oh, stay off the boat. Whew. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, real nice one. Hey, my ugly friend. Okay, calm down. Yeah, that's a dandy. He smoked that bullhead. Well, Flathead standard smoked. I'm gonna grab the net. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's in the net. He is ours. Okay. That. I got my adrenaline going. Man, he's all jacked up. Oh, not a tiny one. Yeah, that's, that's 
That's a real nice one. <laughs> right in the corner just like you want them to be I guess maybe we'll stay at the sandbar it's one to be happy about I'm pretty happy about him I don't know he's not an absolute freak show but he's a fish you hope for every single night at least I know I do he's a little skinny a little skinny but he was me fought like champ big old noggin on him and uh, not what you expect in a pre-spawn fish, as far as fatness. But he was had the meanness. <laughs> I'm gonna let him go. Okay, but Ooh, that was angry. Peace. Hopefully, get another one. It's early. The raccoons are fighting out there. I don't know if you can see their eyes. They're getting after it. Now they're, they know they've been had. I think it's about bedtime. It's officially bedtime. I'm betting if we're gonna get bit, it's gonna be at like five in the morning. Or I won't get bit. I do know I'm going to bed though. Yeah, got for the moment. Shoot. That was a little more exciting than it needed to be. How big are you? Oh, you bad. Just relentless. Come here. Oh, got him. Oh, that was a mess. In my defense, I woke up and was immediately thrown into a battle. And he fought pretty good for what he is. We are a uh, ways away from my 5 a.m. prediction, which is cool because that leaves a buffer for a 5 a.m. bite that'll hopefully be here and hopefully be real big this guy uh oh well, he's fun size he'd be a good eater I should keep him but I'm not going to mainly because I don't want to deal with him because I'm really tired and want to go back to sleep so you're a lucky day bud you get to go back See ya. And he ate a bullhead under a bobber. Which I really enjoy when they eat bullheads under bobbers. Or anything. Things are happening. Pull it down, bud. There we go. Yeah, he's nice. There's some nice head shakes. You're in it a ways out there. Ooh. A nice fish. Okay, stay off the boat. Yeah, he's digging. Oh, he's running. Stay out of that other line. This is a nice fish. I mean, I thought he was a nice fish. Now I think he's a really nice fish. Oh yeah. Come here, Ned. 
Come here, big bruiser. Yeah. Come here. Come on. There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, what a dandy. Looked right in the corner. Crunch that big bullhead. He's pale. The pale ghost of a flathead. We're getting into that dandy status right here. That's a that's what I would call a dandy. My definition of dandy anyway. definitely my definition of a jerk <laughs> but uh this is the last one i catch it's a wonderful way to cap a evening of fishing off this is a dandy That blood's mine. Don't worry. Fish is fine. <laughs> Not a fan of the full moon, but uh, it ain't so bad tonight. Still haven't got to five yet, but um, so there's a good, there's a chance to get another one. I guess there was a, technically a chance. There's always been a chance, but it's like the beginning of prime times just start. Well, we got some storms flying in right at daybreak. That wasn't supposed to happen, but apparently the weatherman changed his mind. I'm going to try and stick it out for as long as I can. So I'd really like to have baits in the water this time of night, morning, whatever you want to call it. I also don't like to get electrocuted, so that's my catch-22. Play it by ear. Oh. Still not sure if I'm gonna get rained on or not. But I don't wanna leave because this is like prime primest of prime time. Nothing like a conundrum you create for yourself for no reason that really matters that much. That's a good bullhead right there. such a cool time of day as far as colors go yeah it's probably my favorite time of day well thankfully I can't even talk I haven't had any coffee or anything so I'm gonna use that as my excuse but thankfully the storm fizzled out still haven't got that prime time morning bite I was kind of halfway expecting could still come but I definitely need to brush my teeth and find that cup of coffee and get cleaned up because so i got a guide trip in about an hour. But uh hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Hopefully this guide trip goes better than the last one. It sucks when uh, somebody books a trip and you don't put them on the fish that they came here to fish for. But the unfortunate reality of flathead fishing is they don't care what you want. They just do flathead things. And all you can do is do the best you possibly can and give yourself a shot. So that's what I try to do. If you want to check out my podcast, it's linked in the description. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. If you want to go to the Amazon, email me, Spencer River Certified .com. My the group I'm going with is full, but the, the group immediately after has spots open. So I can get you hooked up with a chance to catch multiple fish of a lifetime kind of amazing place but that's it thanks again hope you catch a giant